Hi everyone, it's Sarah from Water Goblins and I wanted to show you a quick tour of our RV. So I'm going to turn this around and we'll start. Here's the front door. We had to take out the um, original security glass and um, put in a clear one. It has that little shade on the bottom of you could see and Ray actually flipped it upside down so it's kind of easier to see out of. We get a little extra view not so dark in here. So I think I'll start here's the entryway. Got a place to hang coats, um, a little broom and that pans to the kitchen cooking waffles right now so you could see our little setup you basically have to use every little bit of counter space and um, when we're not using the stovetop we have like a little dish pad that we put down and that's where we dry the dishes at the stove or oven hardly gets used because we need to get a pizza stone apparently for it to help it cook more evenly because it does not cook evenly. So the microwave gets used a lot. Here's our little fridge. I could zoom out a bit. And you're stuffing everything in there for a family of four. Not as organized as I would like it. But what can we do? Um, here is the living space. We got some pretty lights up there. And the dining table is also our school room. So we got our school books, printer in the corner, and underneath in this little cubby hole, the benches do come up. We have school stuff in there. And the other side has, side has dishware. We've got our little couch stuff hung up on the wall to make it a little more, you know, like us, cozy. I bought this awesome ottoman off of Amazon and it's packed full with mommy's um, healing stuff. And oils in the corner, like we have to use every inch of this place for storage. I'm not going to show you the storage under here or there because it's pretty messy. Still haven't figured out a way to um, organize that. And then here's the bedroom. So I've got these little shades here that I would love to replace, but for now they work, come in handy. Added some hooks to hang my jewelry and lovely mirrored cabinets. And that's my space. So we really have a downsized clothes. Got socks and underwear underneath and up there is some extra storage for more cold weather stuff. Um, our beds, we put that little LED lighting in there and each of them have like a little cubby hole to hold our fan and you know nighttime stuff. Um, the bed's never this neat. It's a pain to try and make it. So when we can afford to um, buy some bedsies or the quick zip setup. We're gonna get that so it's much easier for me and my back. So here we had to hang up all our Park Host gear and extra um, jackets and stuff. And then underneath the bed here, which I'm not gonna show you, it's really heavy to lift up, but there is extra storage down there. And there's a little storage there where we throw our shoes and emergency stuff in. This is kind of nifty, except the little ledge is pretty much useless. You can't get much on there. But spice rack and then drawers for utensils. Um, they didn't really think this one through either. That's our cabinet. Um, everything shoved in there. Tupperware all the way in the corner and more storage like I said just get you got to downsize to the essentials because there is not much room so some people will put shelving across in here and I will get the hubby to do that sometime soon hopefully got my cool IKEA 
um, fruit hangers up here. <sighs> no place for the vacuum. Extra stuff just has to sit on the floor because the pantry's packed. And unfortunately, they have like a lot of unusable kind of space because wires are all down there, but in previous models, people have opened that space up and used that bottom for storage, but we cannot. Um, boys' school stuff. Bathroom. Everyone always wants to know about the bathroom. So we've got our towels hanging on here, which usually we move them and hang them on the shower when it's not in use. I just didn't get to do that yet. We do have a little vanity, which is nice, and kind of like a messy vanity there. The toilet, everyone's favorite. And yes, for us uh, a little wider in the hips people, we gotta stand up to white. Isn't that fun? <laughs> Added some of my art. There's our little medicine cabinet. So you can get a lot of stuff in here if you are willing to downsize. And we still, I feel like, have way too much stuff. So here's the boys' room. We have all these pocket doors that just slide. And they get stuck a lot for some reason. They are currently hiding in their bunks because they don't want to be seen. We put up these little Lego holders, like a junk storage basically. Managed to fit the air purifier in here for Benji so he can breathe. And right now, it's a storage bunk. Um, we have a lot of extra bedding because we had guests recently. But there's a little storage under there and they've got all their Legos and if we could fit bedding in there we will. Otherwise the rest of it goes under our bed. This one doesn't have storage unfortunately. That's Benji's bookcase down there. And this is where they game and do school when we're not doing group school. And um, they each have a little drawer. So one has hangers and one does not. And it's very frustrating. Maybe eventually we'll redo the cabinets to add more shelving or something not that they'll ever fold their clothes will they huh huh <laughs> but yeah this is pretty much a tour I'm not gonna show you outside cuz it's a little rainy and so outside you can see outside and they can't see in unless we have the lights on like right now um, but when the lights are off you could look outside with some privacy especially when the shades are down, you know, they won't see in here. And it kind of freaked me out at first, but now I know what's going on. And when you're in the campground, it doesn't really matter. Everyone's just here living their best life, having fun. And privacy is just one of those things that is not always going to happen, especially if you're all parked right next to each other. The next place we're going to is basically a parking lot. So there will be no room, no privacy, no trees, and not too excited about that, but sometimes you have to make some compromises and it's affordable and it's safe on the base. And um, yeah, so we're here for two weeks and then go there for two weeks. And then we come back here and we get to park host. The only thing about camp hosting is that you can't be in one place longer than three to four months. So you need a break between places because of, you know, the state laws or whatever. They don't want people like to be like making it their home basically, you know. There are some jobs with the county that do like, I think nine month to year long um, uh, hosting. So you could always do that if you want something more permanent. But for us, we weren't planning to be here this long, so we're gonna be bouncing around for the next year. But, you know, um, it's still not, you can't be living in the forest, beautiful trails around us, you know? So even if we have to take a little break from here and there, um, it'd still be fun. And 
I never ever thought I could do this like the hubby um, spent so long trying to convince me that we could do it I'm like no 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 and then I started watching a lot of YouTube videos and seeing how other people live in RVs and um, we were gonna go with a, a toy hauler which was much bigger than this this is only 33 feet but um, we it was just not gonna work for us right now so we decided like most people say just start off you know um, do what you can if you really want to do the RV life you know even if you have to start small do it and just get out there and experience it and we've been doing this for five months now and I don't regret it one bit and I'm excited for us to continue our journey you know RVing and eventually when he retires from the military we will um, be doing this full time and maybe upgrade by then <laughs> but for now it works out perfect for me and my family um, you just have to get used to you know a smaller space and really um, it makes me feel better because it's less impact on the environment um, there's like so many pluses to it and just getting to like walk right outside into a forest every day it makes my heart happy and um, once the weather's better, and it's not so rainy, we'll be doing more walks and just enjoying our time here, um, you know, because the boys don't want to go out in the ice cold rain, which I don't blame them, you know. Um, but yeah, this is our tour. So I hope you guys liked it. And if you have any questions about RV life or, um, you know, about the RVs or camp posting, you know, feel free to ask me. Um, like I said, we've only been doing it for five months, but this has been a great beginning so far and I'm excited to um, share our experiences with everyone. So I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.